Mr. Boyer. Oh, Mr. Bergman. Hey, we're back, guys. Yeah. Hey, Astronomy Video Podcast 1A. Yes. 1A, History of Astronomy. So we're going to talk about history. And that's 1A because these are kind of long. You put them all together, you go, ah, that's so long. So we don't want to do it to you. So, okay. so we're not. So it's small just, pieces. Yeah, put a little small pieces. So let's... Uh, Dive into it. So we're learning about uh, the, the stages of astronomy. Turns exactly. Out, so look like at a history this. lab. We're learning yeah. history and science. Absolutely. Classes. Look at this. Yeah. We go back over seven thousand years for astronomy. Prehistoric. Isn't it like caveman and stuff? Absolutely. Yeah. Well, actually, not. This no, only goes really. back to about five thousand BC, way after the cavemen. So, by, by the way, for history lessons, when we say prehistoric, it means before writing. Yes. Before writing was invented. So yep. that's what we're talking about today. So, um, and in fact, classical astronomy, Renaissance, modern astronomy, those will be later podcasts. In fact, 1.1 is prehistoric, and 1.1b and 1.1c is prehistoric. So yep. basically, the question we're going to ask is what could ancient people figure out about the stars and planet, whatever, the sky, yes. without fancy equipment, no telescopes? They can have all that cool stuff that we have today. What can you know by just Standing outside and looking up in the sky. Amazingly, you can find out a lot. So, what's the things we can figure All out? All right. So, what they do before 5,000, well, there's it, BC, discover about the skies. Okay, well. Well, here's a problem. Yeah, there's a problem. You know, the sort of question I've got to ask, Dr. Boyer, most people today don't understand the sky. The sad thing is, we've got these cool tools, yes. like telescopes, and all these cool things. But people today don't understand as much about the stars as that they used to understand like a long time ago. No, because you can't see the sky. Why not? Light pollution. We generate so much light in our cities, it reflects off of the air, and you cannot see the stars. Too much light. It's a huge problem, yeah. even for modern astronomers. You know, the good news is, for at least those of us who are watching this living with the park, or up in here in Keller County, is that we happen to live in a place where there isn't as much light pollution. It's very easy to get away and see the stars. Still, sadly, I think we don't understand it because, frankly, we're tuned into the TV or the internet and we miss out on the cool stuff that is astronomical. Yep. So, yeah. So, um, another thing that's an issue, not as big an issue here, of course, is Moon Park, but smog. Smog's a big issue, folks. We've got too much smog in our world. Smog, smog, smog. And so this is, I don't know, some city. Um, New York. Looks like New York City. New yep. York City. So we've got New York City and there's lots of smog and obviously you can't see through smog and pollution and junk. And so obviously you can't understand the night sky if you can't see it. If you can't see it. Yeah. So, all right. Um, so what were they able to see? So yeah. Uh, let's assume no smog. That's no let's light pollution. No uh, light pollution. That's which right. Which is true, you yep. know, 5000 BC. And what could you what could you figure out? Well, we'll just talk about a couple of things. Aha! First of all, the sunrise. Sunrise and sunset. So the sun rises every day in the east and sets in the west. Isn't that it? Yeah, almost. Except that the ancient astronomers noticed that as the sun comes up day after day, it changes its position with respect to the horizon as it's rising up. So at different times of the year. Yes. It goes in different patterns. Exactly. And, and you can measure that. They measured it. They, uh -huh. they made note of it. And that's when they knew when the seasons were changing, when it was time to harvest, and when it was time to plant. Uh -huh. It was amazing. When the sun came up at a certain position on the horizon on the sky, they knew it was time to plant their crops. So the, the, the whole sun thing, it depended upon, that helped them with seasons. Right? Exactly. Oh, I see. So they had their seasons. They could figure out their seasons based upon if the sun rose over here or over here. Exactly. And, and it, at certain times of the year, it, it's different places. You probably know this. Of course, in where we live in the Northern Hemisphere, you know, in December, say December 21st, yep. it's the winter solstice, is the, we call it the shortest day of the year, the day with the least amount of sunshine. Yep. And then the opposite is June 21st, which is the summer solstice, when we have the most sunshine, the most yep. hours of sunshine. We call it the longest day of the year. In fact, uh, Stonehenge in Britain was an ancient observatory specifically to measure the solstices. Oh yeah, in fact, you know, one thing I should say, oh let's go back to right there. Yes. This picture right here, I don't know if you realize this, this is a picture of a place called Machu Picchu. And Machu Picchu is um, essentially an astronomical observatory in Peru. I actually took this picture and actually it's down over here 
and I have some pictures somewhere of that, there is an astronomical observatory, and on specifically the winter solstice and the summer there solstice, is. they had, it, it would align in a certain way and come through a particular window and shine exactly on this little yes, altar. Yes, Somehow tied, they're not sure, to some religious uh, ceremonies of their culture. Um, but anyways, but a very fascinating place, Machu Picchu. They've discovered it, in, uh, I don't know, 75 years ago, something like that, I want to say, something like that. So we've already seen this slide. And uh, here's the moon. Notice how the moon, the, the thing, of course, they were able to tell is the moon goes through phases. Exactly. And you kind of see this animated uh, uh, little video as the moon goes through different phases. And uh, the phases of the moon, of course, are what? What are the phases of the moon? We've got, You've uh, got uh, the new moon. New moon. Crescent yeah. moon. Crescent. Full moon. Full moon. Cool. Yeah, so lots yeah. of different moons. And you can kind of see there's the full right there. New moon, by the way, is kind of weird. New means no moon. You can't see it. It's completely yeah. gone. And the ancient astronomers measured how long it takes to go through a complete cycle, and they based their early calendars on moon months. Yeah, so it's kind of weird because our our our, years is, our our year has twelve months, and there's a thirteen. Thirteen plus months for the yeah, moon. Yes, they have a lunar calendar. 13. Yeah. All right. And uh, other things they were able to figure out um, was, of course, the seasons. There's the seasons. And yep. you can see here a picture from somewhere in uh, in England. We've got, of course, uh, that looks like winter. Uh, that'd be spring, spring, spring mm -hmm. summer, summer, and fall. And there's fall. You know, not every place has uh, four, four seasons. When I was in Peru, for example, they got the rainy season and the dry season because they're on the equator. They don't live in the northern or the southern latitudes where you have different uh, yep. uh, seasons pronounced wise. A couple more slides. Of course, one of the ah, coolest things in all the world the the is the Milky Way. Oh. If you're out in the middle of the night and you can look up and you see sort of this cloud of lightness. Lightness, yes, a band of light. Something it is the Milky it. Way galaxy, and we learned a little bit last time about there's you know there's a hundred billion galaxies, and they all have a hundred billion, billion stars, stars or whatever. Oh, well, crazy. we live in the Milky Way galaxy, and we can kind of see that that cloud of lightness, if you yes. know, which is uh, stars. They're all clustered Look together. Look at all those stars there, yeah. but it's not stars. even close to a hundred billion. Now. Remember, stars, guys, are suns that are just a long way. Away. That's right. Okay, and I think we got one more slide to talk about. And that's just yeah, to say, hey, there's, there's so much more. To come. more. There's more that these prehistoric dudes were able to figure out than just this. Absolutely. And we'll talk about that next time. Next time. Okay.